Hi, beautiful souls. My name is Carol, and this is Winter Haven with wind, bleh, Wisdom. <laughs> I'm here with you today. It's Thursday, November 2nd, and um, I'm here to do a collective reading. Um, and let's see, we'll show you the cards we're going to be using for today's reading. Um, the Lightseer's Tarot, the Good Tarot. We'll use the Sacred Traveler for our opening energies and the Sacred Forest for our closing energies. I hope everyone is doing well today. It's a chilly, chilly day here. We did end up having our first frost last night. Um, so it's very cold this morning, just uh, under freezing. And I was out earlier today doing errands and the wind is blowing so cold. <laughs> it's in the low 30s. It's supposed to get as high as 40 though, so we'll see. But the wind, it's in the 30s. Hope it's warmer where you all are. Okay. So guys, please show us the cards we need to see for today's reading. For the general collective. What do we need to know? more priest spirit. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the magician. It's a beautiful picture. Okay. So let's see. In the center of the spread, we have the Page of Pentacles. And we have one, two, three, four major arcana cards out of nine cards. So just about half. All right. We won't delay and we'll get started. First card is love in this deck, which is the lovers. It's a six card. Um, so this is an energy of love that's surrounding this reading. The first card out is usually the strongest um, message, right? Um, not energy, but message that love is in the air for someone here so we'll take a look and see what's going on then we have the seven of wands and that's that uh protective energy right um whoever this is is protecting themselves um they're in like a little bubble and they're careful of who they exchange energy and information with um they have their wands and they're doing their own manifestations. This is in the middle. And then on the end, we have the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles is an energy of going back and forth, trying to make sense of something, not sure of what someone wants to do yet. They're trying to make a decision. Um, and it usually is a decision that goes on for a long time. So that's the energy we have right now. Um, there's love, it's guarded, and there's a decision about it. Okay. Going into our second row, we have the sun. And that's about illumination, right? The sun comes in and lights the way, clears up confusion. It's um, 
a yes card in the tarot. It means happiness, success, um, abundance. You know, it's your Ten of Cups, your Ten of Pentacles kind of energy. Um, healing, illumination. Okay. And then we have the Page of Pentacles. That's our set center energy. And then... Um, On the end, we have temptation. And this is an energy of someone that is being uh, tempted by something, right? Um, tempted by passion, maybe, and um, tempted by greed or something like that. So it's an energy to be aware of in the reading. down into our last row we have the seven of swords okay this is an energy um you know it can go a couple of different ways depending on if it's in the light or the dark in the light it's somebody who's spiritually aligned um, they're aligned with their intentions and they're trying to get away from something they're leaving their past behind and they're taking as little as possible and moving forward in their life but they're doing it in silence or secrecy. They're not letting anybody know that this is what they're doing. In the dark way, it could be the same thing. Somebody's trying to get away with more than they need. Um, someone has been um, lying, cheating, stealing, sneaking around, that kind of an energy. So um, we'll see what comes up when we clarify, okay? Then in the middle, we have the Ace of Wands. This is a, a creative, passionate energy that could be coming towards you with the energy of love. And then we have temptation, right? Um, and then next to that is the Wheel of Fortune. So we have creative energy, passionate, exciting, um, joyous, you know, energy, I'm getting some kind of message. I'm just waiting for it to come in. Um, and then the wheel of fortune, okay? And so the wheel is going to be turning, perhaps the energy behind this, which I, I can feel like a joy kind of excitement coming from it, could um, be turning this wheel of fortune. Somebody could be taking action. or Something could be coming in here for someone. All right, so we've got the sun, the wheel of fortune, love, temptation, and an ace of wands. <laughs> and I will take the light sears and go in and clarify here. Oh, you know what? I didn't do the opening energies. Um, so we got the Ace of Cups out already with love. What else about love spirit? Six of Cups. Seven of Wands, please, Spirit. Anything else for the Seven of Wands? First we have here, 
we have the love energy with the six of cups and the ace of cups so this i would say is a love offer coming from someone in the past someone who um, remembers you fondly and in a loving way in a friend way um, and it's love this is the cup of love this is the only purpose here is that it be given to somebody Okay, and it also can signify <clears throat> um, self-love in a way. Then we go into the Seven of Wands, and this is the protective energy. And we have the Emperor. <coughs> we have the Nine of Pentacles. <coughs> we have the Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Empress. Okay, so we've got two sevens here. That's spiritual. Seven, seven, seven. We have seven, seven, seven here. We have um, an emperor and an empress. And that could be the viewer balanced energy. Seven of pentacles is somebody hard... That's worked hard. They're manifesting. Um, and they might be getting ready to do something with all they've manifested. And then the Nine of Pentacles is a single and available person that has is quite fine all by themselves. So, um, this could be that one of these people has manifested the other. Um, interesting, huh? <laughs> so, bam, right out, right out of the gates, right? Um, all right, the two of pentacles is the seven of swords, and we already had that come out, so that's repeating energy. What else for the two of pentacles? Two of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Okay, and that's the Ace of Wands, which we already have out, too. Okay, so for the Page of Pentacles, we have first came out the Seven of Swords. And this is someone that's been probably in this reading has been moving in silence and quiet, um, leaving something behind um, to go towards someone or something, moving away from something else, okay? Then we have the Five of Cups, and this is an energy of somebody that um, is sad, maybe because they're leaving something behind. Um, maybe sad because they miss someone or that all their dreams have just gone down the drain. Um, they could be hyper-focused on the loss and not focus on the, the good energy and this bright sun that's here for them. So we have that, and then we have the Ace of Wands, which is passionate, creative, energetic, love, with temptation, maybe lust. Um, so that's an energy to be aware of. Okay. So we've got an Emperor and an Empress Book ended with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Okay, can you tell me about the sun, please, Spirit? Five of Swords, so that's somebody 
stressed and worried up in their head, trying to make a decision. What else about the sun, please, spirit? Strength. And the fool. For the sun, the sun, we have the five of swords. So this poor guy, right? Like he's up in his head. He probably has people in his ear um, telling him to do this, telling him to do that. Think about this. Think about that. Um, he could be planning and just trying to figure everything out. Then we have strength come out to be strong through this. And then we have the fool. So someone's in a new cycle and a new energy. Um, they're trying to stay strong in it. They're still maybe a little anxious or up in their head about something. Maybe this sun is going to clear up this confusion that could be going on, this over worry or stress. Okay, and what are we taking a leap of faith towards? Can you tell us about the Page of Pentacles? Please spare it, the Page of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> For the Page of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Swords. So we know our Queen of Swords is slashing things all over the place, right? She's not putting up with any kind of crap in her life. She is managing it, she's smart, um, driven, and she does not play games. Then we have the Six of Pentacles, and this energy has been strong in, in readings this <sighs> since the uh, full moon. And then, you know, this is reciprocal energy, um, giving and receiving. Um, this Queen of Swords could be very generous, um, very giving. And then we have the King of Wands. And this is a passionate, um, creative, dynamic, energetic, um, happy, aggressive kind of king. Um, really pursues his passions. And then we have the King of Pentacles <laughs> and all with the Page of Pentacles. So does this Queen of Swords have two kings coming in? Is this all the energy of someone? Because it could be. Pursuing your passions, pursuing your pentacles this could all be energy of the queen of swords and the queen of swords could be the energy of either the empress or the emperor or the one balanced person that we have here and this is her um, creativity energy and her pentacle energy right so it could be that as well and the page of pentacles would make sense right this is somebody new out on a journey and they're um, working towards a goal of establishing 
abundance. It's a very grounded energy. So interesting energies there. Okay, now Spirit, can you tell me about temptation, please? the world new cycle what else about temptation ten of pentacles and the ten of cups holy cow so a cycle has ended we have a fool here this is a cycle of Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles ending. Or the Temptation cycle is over and the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles is coming. Hmm. Let's, um, I'm going to pull on the world here quick. Spirit, tell me about the world, please. Okay, this makes a little more sense. So the world is the Nine of Swords and the Page of Wands. So this might be the cycle that's coming to an end. And the Page of Wands is probably like the new Fool energy here, moving into the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Now the Seven of Swords, please, Spirit. Seven of Swords. Ten of Swords. What else for the Seven of Swords? lovers <sighs> okay just as I shuffle see what I see on the bottom two of cups Okay, so for Seven of Swords, which we had, that came out with the um, Two of Pentacles with the Five of Cups and the Ace of Wands. So now we have the Seven of Swords with the Ten of Swords, so that's a completion. This turns over to an Ace and it probably this is the Seven of Wands, so it's not the Ace of Wands. It might have turned over to the Ace of Cups. And then we have the Lovers. So the Lovers is the Lovers. <laughs> but it's also a choice, a decision that is being made. Um, somebody could be making a choice to come towards you. Um, and this is probably somebody you know that you've been in a relationship with before, okay? Then we have the Ace of Wands. Tell me about the Ace of Wands, please, Spirit. Two of Pentacles. is <clears throat> the two of pentacles which is what it's with <laughs> on the other side of the spread and then it's with the hanged man 
So somebody's in the hangman making this decision finally. <clears throat> now we have the Wheel of Fortune. Spirit, can you tell me about the Wheel of Fortune? That's the Knight of Swords. What else about the Wheel of Fortune? The Queen of Pentacles. Now we have the King and Queen of Pentacles. The Three of Wands. and the two of cups <laughs> okay so the wheel of fortune <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune had the Knight of Swords. So this is somebody that's on a path to bring the truth, maybe to a Queen of Pentacles. And then, yeah, that came out next. So they're going to start <clears throat> moving towards this Queen of Pentacles for the Four of Wands with the Three of Pentacles. So this is a celebration coming together to work on a relationship, um, work on some sort of project, build a business together, mend the two, the King of Cups. So we have the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. And we have the Two of Cups. <laughs> so the Two of Cups, the Four of Wands, the 777, the Emperor, the Empress, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands. This very well could be like a twin flame. It's definitely a divine couple here. Oh, we got the Wheel of Fortune. We've got the Fool. All right, let's go back to the Good Tarot and see if we can pull this reading together and then we'll do our other energies. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second, Spirit. Spirit, can you please wrap up this reading for me? What's the takeaway from this reading for the collective? What's the outcome for the reading? The Ace of Pentacles. First came out the Ace of Pentacles, so that gives us three aces in this reading. Um, this is some sort of an opportunity or offer that could be coming in. Then we have the Five of Cups, and we already have that energy out here, and this is somebody sad who's looking at what they lost. And then we have the Page of Cups, and the Page of Cups is a small you know, love offer, that's a, you know, you want to have coffee, it could be a text message or a phone call, some kind of connection that could be coming in, being made, some message or something like that. 
related to love or a relationship or connection. And then we have the Three of Swords. And this is the heartbreak energy, right? This is somebody that's healed and still um, protecting their heart a little. And we do see the, you know, the Seven of Wands, right? That's a protective energy. So um, it, I would still say that somebody is still working through the their heart heartache, right? I don't think we're quite at the offer stage yet here. We do have the Fool. Um, we've got three aces. We have the King and Queen. I mean, the Emperor and the Empress. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. We have the Sun. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Lovers. We have the Two of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Three of Pentacles. I don't know how much more energy we need here before um, these two come together. And it it's just going to be a matter of divine timing. Um, and you're not going to know <laughs> when it happens. And... And that's all there is to it. We don't even have a tower here indicating that it's going to be a surprise or anything. Okay. Um, so I'm going to pull on the opening energies just to see how this might support this. And then we'll do our closing energies. Spirit, can you please show me a few cards here that would have opened this reading, please? What can we tell the collective? Bottom of the deck is stepping into power. You are strong beyond measure. So there's a big message of strength here for someone. Okay. And... Let's see, um, we have Journey by Moonlight, Believe in Magic. I don't know if this, I only had two come out, I thought I had three. Hmm, one more please, Spirit. There we go, well, we got a couple more. Okay, so we have fellow travelers. Support is all around you. So if you need help or guidance with anything, um, someone to talk to, there's support all around you. Your spirit guides are there for you, okay? Um, then we have Journey by Moonlight. Believe in magic. Believe in the impossible. Believe in serendipity. Believe that something can happen for you. And maybe your divine timing is going to be coming up here. You just don't know. So be prepared. Finding sanctuary, opening to your spiritual source. So here spirit is encouraging you to make a stronger connection with them. That they can guide you and support you and help you with your energy. So they appreciate you reaching out and to keep doing it. And then joy and delight. Open your heart to joy okay so this is about keeping your vibration high right being happy i mean obviously there's some incredible energy here um, whether this is um career right because the lovers can be career two of cups three of pentacles that's all work four of wands stability an offer coming to you right um we've got the Ace of Pentacles too. You're, if you're on a passionate career path, um, you are balanced in your masculine and feminine energies, okay? So there could be two things happening here for somebody. Their career path, and we had that in yesterday's reading. So something could be happening with your career path. And um, things are progressing with um, whatever love situation is here. And there's definitely some sort of love here okay um so that's that 
Now we'll wrap up all the energies <laughs> with the Sacred Traveler. deck is Maple Spirit with Generosity. Okay, so remember we had the World card and the Fool and the Sun. So Pegasus came out with Transcending, and this is about moving through energy, rising above it, um, healing, conquering it. And then we have the Phoenix Rising, and this is with Transformation. So somebody here has gone through an incredibly transformation. Spirit is got you in a new cycle now. You're you're in the fool. You've left um, some stuff behind. You've left this cycle behind. They're encouraging you to stay strong. Okay. Wow. Um, then we had magic come out, and this is a great great, great card. Um, I'm getting goosebumps now for someone, okay? Something amazing is going to be happening here for someone, whether it's a uh, career, whether it's love, whether it's both of those things, okay? We've seen it in readings where this couple will come together and work on a huge project that could have benefits for the community. And I also see a just a career path here for somebody and I see love energy it could go either way for somebody and then the last energy is fire spirit with energy so this is um this could all be relative to a fire sign um coming in for you this could be your energy and um you're fiery and passionate and energetic and you've got um real passion you're driven you're going for something you want and and this is after coming out of maybe what was a very dark time in your life and you're in this strong full energy whether this is the divine feminine the divine masculine or this is both of you right um who knows um so, wowee, what a great reading for someone. And all I can say here, um, the title for this one is going to be Believe in Magic. Because that's the message I get here, right? We had two cards on magic come out. Believe in magic. Believe it's possible. Magic happens every day. All right, folks, that's your reading for today. I hope you have a great Thursday. Take care. Stay warm out there because it's freezing. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. Take care all. Bye-bye.